Hello learners, you are welcome to Lautech Open and Distance Learning Center. Uh, today I will be taking you through how to calculate your GPA and CGPA. At the end of this video, you should be able to know the meaning of GPA and CGPA, what they mean. You should be able to calculate your GPA and you should also be able to calculate your CGPA. So after you have watched this video, I expect that you should be able to do all these things that I have stated. Now, what is GPA? GPA is referred to as a grade point average. Likewise, CGPA is referred to as cumulative grade point average. Both GPA and CGPA, they are essential metrics used in educational institutions to evaluate student academic performance. These numerical values, they provide a standardized way to measure and compare students' achievements throughout their academic journey. So what this means is that this GPA and CGPA is what will be used for all the students that are enrolled at Lautech Open and Distance Learning Center so that their performance can be properly measured. Now, GPA, it represents average performance of students in a specific semester. When we talk about a specific semester, we mean maybe first semester or second semester. So it is GPA that will be used to measure your performance in all the courses that you are doing uh, in a particular semester. Now, when we talk about CGPA, CGPA takes into account student performance across all completed semester. So CGPA is, uh, is used to calculate your performance for more than one semester. Why GPA is used to calculate your performance for only one semester? I hope you understand what GPA means now and what CGPA means also. Now, let's see what is the importance of GPA and CGPA. If you are able to understand the concept of GPA and CGPA very well, you'll be able to gauge your academic strength and area where you need improvement, even as you journey in your academic journey at Lautech Open and Distance Learning Center. So whenever you collect your results, it's very important for you to pay attention to your GPA, what is it saying for that particular semester, and CGPA, what your performance is saying over the semesters that you have completed. At Lautech, there is a grading system that we use. Now, this grading system, we we'll call it is a five-point grading system. I'm going to take you deeper into it, so I want you to give me your rapt attention. Now, if you look at my left here, you will see a scoring and grading system there. Now, the scoring and grading system, there are some headings that are very important. We have the percentage score here, the letter grade here, and the grade points follow. Now, what this means is that after you have done your exams and your scores are out, they are going to be scaled on level of 0 to 100. If you are able to score between 70 and 100, you are going to have an A. If you score between 60 and 69, you have a B. If you score between 50 and 59, you have a C. If you score between 45 and 49, you have a D. If you score between 40 and 44, you have a H. E. And if you score between 0 and 39, that is a F. Now, pay attention to this grade point. It ranges from 0 to 5. If you have a A, your grade point is 5. If you have a B, your grade point is 4. If you have a C, your grade point is 3. If you have a D, your grade point is 2. If you have a E, your grade point is 1. If you have a F, your grade point is 0. This grade point is what will be used to calculate your GPA and CGPA. Now, to my right, we have class of degree. 
So at every semester and every session, at every completed semester, your, G, your CGPA is going to tell you the class of degree that you belong to. Now, for those that will be in first class, your CGPA must be between 4.50 to 5.0. For those that are in second class, honors, upper division, you must have your CGPA ranging between 3.50 to 4.49. For those that are in second class, honors, lower division, you have your CGPA ranging between 2.40 to 3.49. For those that are in third class, they have 1.40 to 2.39. And for those that are in pass, we range from 1.0 to 1.49. Now, let us see how to calculate a GPE, which is applicable to a particular semester. After you have registered for your courses for a particular semester, let's say 100 level, for example, here, you should pay attention to, your, to the number of units each course is having. Now, for Bio 101, is a three-unit course. That shows you how heavy that course is. For GST 111, is a two-unit course. And for Physics 107, is a one-unit course. So, at the, at the end of 100-level first semester, we have a total of 25-unit course to attend. Now, after you have written your exam, your scores are out. These are the forms that your scores will take. So, uh, for the courses that you have registered, let's say you have a A, a B, a D, C for the corresponding courses as the case may be. Now, the next thing to do is uh, to, to put a grade point that correspond to the value of the grades that you have. Now, if you have a, an A, you have five points to it. If you have a B, you have four points. If you have a D, you have two points, and if you have a C, you have three points. So you do it like this, as it is being shown on the screen. So now, after that, the next thing for you is to calculate, is to multiply the units of each courses by the grade point that is being allocated to them. Now, see, for bio one, biology 101, that's general biology, is a three-unit course. You have an A in that course. The grade point that is that correspond to A is five. Now, if you multiply three and five, you are going to have fifteen. Uh, for chemistry one hundred one is a three unit course. If you multiply three by four, you have twelve. So you are going to do this for all the courses. Uh, after you have done that, you must know the total submission of all these uh, uh, multiplication that you have done. You will add it 15 plus 12 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 8 plus 12. When you add all, you are going to have 90, just like this. Recall that I said you should pay attention to the total number of units that you registered for and the total number of these uh, uh, multiplication that you have done. So you should pay attention to it. That is what we'll be using to calculate the GPA. Now, this is the formula for the GPA. Sum of units multiplied by grade points divided by sum of all the courses that you have registered for. Now, based on our previous calculation, the summation of units multiplied by grade, if you refer back to this, you see is 90. Now, and the summation of all the courses that you have registered for is 25. So, if you divide uh, 90 by 25, you are going to have 3.60. So, what this means is that your GPA at the end of 100 level first semester is what? Is 3.60. That is how to calculate a uh, GPA. Also, let's do the same for second semester 100 level. You have registered for CSE 102, GST 112, MTH 102, Physics 102, and Physics 108. And each of their uh, units, the course unit is there. Your grade is out also. You have done the exam. You have C, you have E, you have F, you have A, and all that. Now, you allocate a grade point to it. In this case, C is 3, E is 1. 
f is 0, a is 5, and c is 3. Now, if you multiply the number of units by the grade point, you are going to get have this value that is here. Now, if you sum everything here, you have 29, and the total number of units that you registered for is 12. So, if you apply that formula again, you are going to have 29 divided by 12, which will give you 2.416. If you approximate it to two decimal places, you have 2.42. So, that is how to calculate a uh, GPA. Now, let us see how to calculate CGPA. You know, I said CGPA is the cumulative grade point uh, average. So it's going to be the result of your uh, of your semester's result. Now see this. Assuming that we have known 100 level semester from our previous uh, slide and explanation of calculation of uh, GPE. Now, assuming this is your 200 level first semester result, at the end of first semester, your GPA 200 level first semester is 2.43. Now, let us see the result at the end of our second semester. Let's say at the end of second semester 200 level, your GPA is 4.20. Now, there is need to calculate your CGPA. This is the formula to calculate your CGPA. He said is the sum of the product of unit and grade that you have per semester. That means the, uh, the sum of unit and grade that you have in 100 level first semester, 100 level second semester, 200 level first semester, 200 level second semester. They are sum, which means you are going to add them. Divided by some of uh, the units of the courses you registered for in first semester 100 level plus some of the unit of the courses you registered for in uh, second semester 100 level, also uh, first semester 200 level, and second semester 200 level. Now, you can do it this way so that you will get it easily. Now, in 100 level, first semester you registered for 25 units, second semester you registered for 12 units, making a total of 37 units. In 200 level, you registered for 23 uh, units, and uh, in second semester, you registered for 15 units, making a total of 38 units. Now, at the end of your 200 level, you will have registered for a total of 75 units. I hope you are following me. All right. Now, you are going to come to the product of units and grade points also. At the end of first semester, the sum of the product of units and grade point is 90 and for second semester is 29 making a total of 119 in first semester 200 level you have 56 and for second semester you have 63 based on your result if you had the two together also making a total of 119 so that means at the end of your 200 level, you have registered for a total cost of 75 units. And based on your results, you are able to have the sum of a product of units and grade points to be 238. I hope you are following. All right. Now, in order to calculate your CGPA, your CGPA is now going to take all this score from a uh, each of the semester into account. Now, see the formula that we apply here. 90 is the sum of the product of unit and grade for first semester 100 level. 29 is the sum of the product of unit and grade for second semester 100 level. 56, sum of the product of unit and grade for 200 level first semester, also 63 for second semester. You will add everything together. It will give you 238, just like we have in the table. And also for the total credit that you have registered for 75. You now divide 238 divided by 75. Then you will have your 3.17 as your CGPA at the end of 200 level second semester. If 
it is a, a 200 level first semester that you want to calculate your CGP. All you will do is just to remove your score for uh, total credit registered for second semester, which is 15 units. You will remove it and you will remove 63. So by the time you do the calculation, you have your CGPA for the current level that you have. And if you are in 300, all you need to do is just to input the total number of credits of units of the courses that you have registered for and your score after you have written your exam then you follow this uh, procedure and okay there, there are ways not to calculate your cgpa cgpa is not average of the semester no no so you are not supposed to calculate your cgpa like this because some of the students they will just collect their gpa per semester they will collect their GPA per semester and take average of it. No. What you are doing, if you are doing this, is you are you are estimating your average. But meanwhile, CGPA is cumulative. It's taking into account your performance over time. So it's not just taking average of your performance. It's taking into account your performance over time. It's not taking average of your performance. So it's very, very important for you to pay attention to this. So this is a no way of calculating a CGP. So I want to encourage you that you should be consistent because consistency and effort throughout the academic journey is the key to academic excellence. So you have to be consistent and putting more effort into your academic journey so that you will come out in flying colors. And I want you to pay attention to this. If you have A all through your, your courses, you'll be at 5.0, which is first class. If you have B all through your courses, you have 4.0. If you have C all through your courses, you have 3.0. If you have D all through your courses, you have 2.0. And likewise, if you have F all through your courses, you have 0.0. Point. So it's very important for you to watch out for all these things. And if you have been maintaining a very high CGPA, if you go for a wrong score, a, a single C can spoil your CGPA. So you should be dedicated and you'll be consistent in your academic performance. And I wish you all the be very best, even as you journey through Lautech Open and Distance Learning Center. Thank you for your time.